In the latest episode of Agatha All Along, we had the coven go through what is essentially Disney's version of a saw trap, but with magic witches and, well, no gore. Even the drop of blood needed at the end of the episode was pretty much censored so you couldn't actually see it go into the cauldron. Gotta love that PG-13 rating. But the episode took a detour when all the members of the coven drank the poison. They all hallucinated. Whether this was egged on by the witches' road, well, that's unclear. But all of their hallucinations seemed to have a connection, that this was something from their past that came back to haunt them. For a little it was a young Italian speaking woman. This may be herself, or this would be someone she knew when she was younger. And before you say, clearly the young Italian woman looks like she's not even close to living in the 20 to 21st century. Remember, Agatha dropped Lilia's age. She's nearly 400 to 450 years old, placing her around the late 16th century or early 17th century, which fits what this woman is wearing. So there is history there, literally. Jennifer, on the other hand, sees a priest who then proceeds to almost drown her in the sink. Yeah, there's no mistaking that this guy was a traumatic figure from her childhood. He even shows it when he says the lines, you are an inconvenient woman. So he's obviously not an old friend. For Alice, it's her mother saying her grandmother is dead before she washes it down with a bottle of poison. And finally for Agatha, it's her child that Jennifer has been hinting at, who she gave away in order to get the dark hold. Obviously all of these hallucinations are part of a test. It's the classic face your trauma head on test. But we'll see these explored in further episodes. Probably Agatha's hallucination as that's too important of a character detail to just drop but what did you think about the trial let us know in the comments down below